Imagine an apartment building where every tiny room holds a single mud crab, each quietly growing in a pool of recycled seawater. These aren't muddy ponds. They're vertical ecosystems producing some of Asia's most valuable seafood. Across Southeast Asia, from Vietnam to the Philippines, farmers are transforming the way crabs are raised, using technology that blends biology with engineering. Welcome to Tech Harvest, where old traditions meet modern innovation. Mud crab farming has become one of the most dynamic sectors in aquaculture. These once wild creatures are now bred with precision, feeding a global appetite for premium seafood. And yes, mud crabs are fierce, territorial, even cannibalistic. Yet thousands of farmers have learned to control that chaos building a billion-dollar industry from creatures that once refused to cooperate. The revolution from chaos to control for decades, mud crab farming meant mud, luck, and prayer. In the old days, coastal ponds stretched for miles, glittering like mirrors at sunrise, but hiding uncertainty underneath. Each pond was a gamble. The weather could change overnight. One heavy rain could ruin the salinity. Crabs fought, died, or vanished into the mud. Farmers lost sleep, money, and sometimes entire seasons. It wasn't aquaculture, it was survival. Then quietly, innovation arrived. Engineers, biologists, and farmers began to rethink the system. Instead of spreading wide, they started to build upward, vertical crab farming. Plastic boxes stacked in towers, each linked to a recirculating aquaculture system. Each crab, alone in its own space, free from predators and perfectly fed. Water filters hum 24 hours a day. Sensors track temperature, oxygen, salinity, a silent orchestra of precision. Now one small warehouse cannot perform a five hectare pond. Crabs grow faster, survive longer, and harvests come predictably, rain or shine. Where chaos once ruled, data now decides. The crab's journey, from egg to export, it all starts with one mother, carrying hundreds of thousands of eggs. In the hatchery, when those eggs shift from orange to gray, it's the signal. Life is about to erupt. Workers move swiftly, transferring mothers into clean trays, monitoring each moment under glowing blue lights. Minutes later, the tanks bloom with motion, a galaxy of larvae spinning in circular whirlpools. Pumps keep them afloat. Oxygen hisses softly through clear tubes. Each larva is smaller than a grain of rice, fragile, hungry, and unstoppable. After a few weeks, the survivors molt into tiny crabs and move to nursery tanks, where they feed on microalgae and crushed shellfish. The goal, strong shells, strong legs, strong appetite. When they reach the juvenile stage, the real transformation begins. In individual rearing boxes, fed on minced fish and marine protein, the crabs fatten rapidly, sometimes doubling their weight in less than a month. And then comes the soft shell stage, a race against time. Farmers track molting cycles day and night. Cameras and sensors help spot the exact moment the shell loosens. Within hours, crabs are harvested while the shell is still soft, edible, tender, and golden in value. Miss that window, and you don't just lose profit you lose perfection. Soft-shell crabs are the pride of modern aquaculture. 90% edible, high in demand, and surprisingly sustainable. They've turned the once low-value crabs into a global delicacy. The hidden engine, mastering water. Behind every thriving crab farm is water that never sleeps. Water in these systems doesn't sit still. It breathes, flows, and evolves. It's pumped, filtered, sterilized, and recirculated endlessly, carrying nutrients and oxygen like blood through a living organism. Mechanical filters trap waste. Biofilters, packed with colonies of beneficial bacteria, convert toxic ammonia into harmless nitrate. UV sterilizers bathe the flow in light, killing pathogens invisible to the eye. The result? Clear, oxygen-rich, perfectly balanced water recycled up to 95% every day. But control comes at a cost. A complete RAS system can reach $80,000, and one pump failure can wipe out months of work. That's why farmers test and log readings every few hours. It's not just water, it's a living system, and we're its caretakers. With RAS, the rules of farming flipped. Instead of fighting nature, farmers now simulated, controlling tides, temperature, even sunlight. 
all under one roof. It's aquaculture, as engineering, delicate, complex, and alive. From farm to feast, the global journey, every crab travels farther in death than most of us will in life. When harvest day arrives, the quiet hum of the farm becomes a symphony of motion. Workers move with focus, washing, grading, packing. Soft shells are handled like glass. Hard shells are flash-boiled, cooled, and iced. Every box is labeled and sealed within hours. Refrigerated trucks roll toward airports. In less than two days, these crabs cross oceans, from rural deltas to luxury restaurants across the world. And that's where the magic continues. In Singapore, chili crab sizzles in fiery sauce, a taste of national pride. In Japan, chefs dip soft shells in delicate tempura batter, crisp perfection. In Vietnam, golden fried crabs crackle beside piles of salt and lime. In New York, they're plated with seaweed pearls and lemon foam, seafood reimagined as art. The same creature that once scuttled through the mud now defines fine dining on three continents. Every bite connects a chain, from a farmer checking water at dawn to a chef plating dinner for a city thousands of miles away. The story of mud crab farming is more than profit. It's proof of how innovation, culture, and craft can travel together. The price of progress and the promise ahead. Every breakthrough comes with a cost. Vertical systems save land, protect mangroves, and offer families a better life, often tripling incomes compared to rice or shrimp. But sustainability still demands balance. RAS consumes electricity. Waste must be carefully filtered before discharge. And when density grows, disease always lurks. Yet hope runs strong. New farms now use solar-powered filters, AI-based monitoring, and data-sharing platforms that alert farmers across regions when risks appear. Training centers teach young farmers how to blend experience with science, turning instinct into industry. From humble blue boxes to glittering banquet halls, the mud crab story is proof of human ingenuity, how even the most stubborn creature can thrive under the right hands. The human tide, where innovation meets heart, behind every gleaming tank and humming pump, is a pair of weathered hands. In coastal villages, dawn breaks early. Farmers step into their facilities, checking tanks, feeding crabs, adjusting oxygen valves. It's not glamorous work. It's patience, discipline, and instinct. Some are former fishermen who once relied on wild catch. Now they raise life instead of taking it, passing knowledge to their children, merging experience with innovation. In training centers across Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines, young farmers learn to code sensors, test water chemistry, and design efficient layouts. The next generation of aquaculture looks less like traditional fishers and more like marine engineers. They are not just growing crabs, they're growing possibility. And perhaps in this story of water and claws lies something greater, a reflection of our time, how humanity learns not to conquer nature, but to collaborate with it.